You know, one of the players McIntyre is counting on to get things back on track is fifth-year senior captain Derek McCartney. Most everybody knows the Buffs linebacker is the grandson of the winningest head football coach in Colorado history, but there is much, much more to his story. His resume is incredible. He earned his pre-med undergraduate degree in three years. He's on pace to get his master's this December. In 2016, he donated bone marrow to help save a cancer patient's life, and the list of good works goes on and on. But these accomplishments are even more inspiring when you consider all he has had to endure in the process. Players make plays! Players make plays! Let's the fight! Woo! Colorado linebacker Derek McCartney was born to be a buff. He's a young man that has grown up with that name. It's a name that you have to, to carry, and, and when you go places, people go, oh, that's Coach McCartney's grandson. Derek's grandfather, Bill McCartney, was Colorado's legendary head coach in the 1980s and early 90s. He wanted to go here. We're all of us, our hearts are here. Uh, Colorado, family history here, so it was just an easy choice for me. It's Derek McCartney! And the grandson of Bill McCartney gives his grandpa something to smile about. Derek McCartney has seen a lot during his time in Boulder. The Buffaloes went from last in the conference. Five and 40 in their first five years in the conference. To South Division champions. Lou Fowl, wants fields, fade route, end zone, touchdown, Colorado. They'll go eight and one in conference play. And tonight they'll match their win total from the previous three years combined. But while the Buffs were enjoying their long awaited success on the field, it was a bittersweet season for Colorado's team captain. His season is over. He tore an ACL. After an early season ACL injury, McCartney was forced to watch from the sidelines as Colorado put together its best season in 15 years. It was hard to sit there and watch, especially when the team was struggling, like, oh, maybe I could help, you know. But at the same time, when, when we were winning, it was just so awesome to see my teammates and just, like, see the success after all the years of, of losing. He's a Colorado native too, and he's put a lot of, put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears for us to win football games. And, uh, you know, if, if he didn't get hurt, he, uh, he would have been out there with us. A guy who his teammates look to for that leadership role, that steady, calming presence. I believe that uh, it just it's kind of can be a humbling experience for you because you realize that things can be taken away from you in an instant. McCartney has experienced loss before. In 2014, his longtime girlfriend and high school sweetheart, Kaylee Macbeth, passed away from a heart tumor. I remember walking through campus being like, wow, like no one knows what I'm going through. And somehow in that same week that I went back to campus after uh, Kaylee died, um, I felt the Lord was just like showing me that like other people are experiencing things too. I mean, he didn't just have a girlfriend. He really loved her. They would have gotten married, I'm sure. I just learned a lot from her, and um, I feel like I am who I am partially because of her. Derek McCartney, he's coming off a year he was injured last season for most of the season. Now, four years after McCartney arrived in Boulder as a freshman, the redshirt senior linebacker has returned to the field with a greater sense of purpose. Derek McCartney gets the sack. Um, I've just seen him mature um, into the man I thought he would be. And he's very respected on our football team and looking for him to have a great senior year. Man, are they happy to have this guy back off the edge? I don't know how you could pinpoint uh, a moment that I, I became much more mature. I know I have grown a lot. I also know that I have a lot of growing to do still.